And joining us now is Chase DeCoit, NCBA's Director of Beef Quality Assurance. Chase, we're talking about the stockmanship and stewardship events that have happened all across this country in 2017. I know my son and I thoroughly enjoyed the event up at Colorado State University. What kind of reaction have you gotten from other participants? You know, Kevin, that's great to hear. We've heard similar reactions to you and your sons uh, all across the country. Folks are excited about these learning opportunities. They're excited to engage with our stockmanship clinicians across the country uh, in a format that they haven't had before. You know, these are multi-day events, two-day events that folks can come, learn about stockmanship, but also about other parts of our industry that can help impact their operation and provide them with real benefit. Yeah, some absolutely uh, practical guidance for all of us to improve our own operations. So um, 2017, you had a series of these events. What can we expect in 2018? Yeah, in 2018, a little bit more of the same, but we plan on learning uh, from 2017, enhancing these events, making them even more beneficial to our producers across the country. So we're gonna see things uh, in new regions. Uh, we're gonna have events, possibly six events in 2018, and we're also gonna be able to focus on some of our uh, dairy audience. You know, they have a huge impact on the beef industry, and we're gonna reach some of them uh, with events across the country. NCBA is also leading the charge in talking about cattle transportation. And why is this such an important issue, Chase? Yeah, transportation is another important segment of our industry. And so many people forget about it when we talk about cow-calf, stalkers, feeders. But transportation is really what links all those different segments of the beef industry together. Um, we've known it's a sensitive area for those who are critical of our industry. Um, and NCBA has, has really stepped up through the beef quality assurance and checkoff programs to address those through training and certification programs. And so a few years ago, we did a transportation symposium. We looked at all the research that was available in the world of transportation and cattle transportation mm -hmm. to really analyze what our next steps needed to be. Um, and starting this year, we're really starting to make progress on those next steps through training programs. Now, BQA has recently launched a series of new educational modules. Um, tell our viewers a little bit about those. Yeah, exactly, Kevin. On November 15th, we're launching our new BQA transportation training and certification platform. And this is exactly how we're addressing that need and that gap within our segment of training around quality cattle care, quality cattle health and well-being, and allowing those transporters to show that they're doing the right thing. So we talk a lot about consumer confidence and, and earning consumers' trust. Um, how can these modules and these educational activities help us improve the consumer's trust for our product? Yeah, this is just another proactive way that we can positively share beef story all the way from pasture to plate. We're filling in those gaps with training and certification programs, just like the Beef Quality Assurance Program, but for those steps that we haven't had it before. Transportation, like I said earlier, links all of those segments of our industry together, and now they'll have a positive story to tell. Well, you all are doing a great job on this, and I hope uh, lots more people will take advantage of these educational opportunities in 2018. Certainly, Kevin, we look forward to it too. As Chase mentioned, you can find out more about the transportation education modules at the website bqa.org.